But there's also tons of documentation of women being the ones to carry back the kills. And so we see this in, in high latitude populations in particular, where hunting is far more important because you don't have as much plant matter to actually sustain life. Uh, and they're the ones like pulling the sledges with a bunch of dead meat on it. It's, you know, it's the women doing the really arduous tasks there. And another one is, this is a very relatively recent study. It was kind of an occupational therapy study, uh, I believe in Canada. And it was in a factory where people were working on like these giant engines and they had to like, you know, screw these things and, you know, wrench their arms all the time. And what few women were on the line doing that work were suffering a lot of shoulder injuries. And everyone thought it was just, oh, you know, sad, weak women. And then somebody decided to actually study it. And it turned out it was because on average women are shorter. So they had to have their arms up higher to do the ah. wrenching on the large engines. And they looked into a little bit more and they also found men who were below a certain height had the exact same problems and injury rate issues as the women. And so they basically just gave everybody longer wrenches and it made everybody happy regardless of their height. And it had nothing to do with women's strength whatsoever. And it had everything just to do with height. And even the That's... men, the tall men preferred having the longer wrenches and the shorter men preferred having the longer wrenches. And so this idea about strength and whatnot, like, yeah, at the extremes, there are differences. But on a functional level of doing the day-to-day, -day, it doesn't. 